I was doing some cleaning today and I stumbled upon this 2012 Mac Mini that was just collecting dust. So I figured I'll do some upgrades to it and see what kind of performance we can get out of it. We're gonna put an 860 Evo, one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo that I pulled out of a 2009 Mac Pro I wasn't using anymore. And then I also had these two eight gigabyte uh, DDR3 RAM sticks that were just sitting around. And 16 gigabytes is the max that this Mac Mini will support. I'm gonna do this video in two parts, do all of those hardware upgrades, and then I'm gonna hook this Mac Mini up to an eGPU and see what kind of graphical performance we can get out of this eight year old Mac Mini that's just collecting dust here in my storage. To swap out any internal components on the Mac Mini, the first thing we need to do is flip it over and get access to the back. All we gotta do is stick two fingers in there and you're able to switch it back and forth. You're gonna be looking for the open button there. Now you just flip it over. It should just pop right off but sometimes you gotta take a little pry tool just to get underneath there so we can remove the back. We wanna start by taking out the two sticks of RAM that are installed. After the RAM's out, we move over to the fan assembly and we need to remove those three screws. Then gently lifting up, but not too far, we want to get in and remove the fan from the logic board by gently pulling up on this little wire that's attached to the top here. And we can set the fan aside. Next, we need to remove this screw down here. It'll allow us to take out this little plastic part inside the Mac Mini. After that screw is removed, we can take this plastic piece and gently slide it to the right. Now that we have that plastic cover that covers up the heat sink, we need to remove these four screws, which will allow us to remove the Wi-Fi antenna and gain access into the hard drive bay. Once those four screws are undone, gently lift up and pull this top piece towards you. Not too far though, then flip it over and you will notice that it is connected right here. We need to gently pull that cable out. And then go ahead and disconnect it. And set aside that Wi-Fi antenna. Now we can see the stock hard drive that came with this Mac Mini. We'll go ahead and remove the connector to the logic board that connects the hard drive to the Mac Mini. Next we want to remove this screw which will detach the logic board from the housing. After removing that screw that holds down the logic board. 
we can go ahead and slide out the logic board. What you're supposed to do is use a little tool. Uh, the best one I've seen is uh, one from OWC or one from iFixit Repair that just sticks down into these two holes and allows you to slide it back. Unfortunately, I do not have one at the time of this video, so I'm gonna improvise. And right here is where I was reminded of a valuable lesson I've learned many times. Taking shortcuts usually ends up creating problems by not using the proper tool to slide out the logic board. I applied too much force and I ripped out these cables that you can see circled. Luckily, I was able to slide the wires back into place and ended up not having to replace anything or buy new parts. Unfortunately, because of this error, I forgot to continue recording and I ended up taking the logic board and the power supply out of the computer. Now that we've taken out the power supply and the logic board, we can go ahead and grab the hard drive bracket. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a clean down because it's pretty dusty. I think I'm going to spray down the inside of this as well. Then we're going to grab the second hard drive assembly, the wire and the screws. Would you look at that? It came with the hard drive remover. If I would have used that, I wouldn't have ripped the thing out. Then we take the uh, hard drive assembly here, stick these pieces right inside. Once those are inside, we can grab our second hard drive. What I'm going to put in here is the 860 Evo 1 terabyte. I'm going to use this 120 gigabyte SSD that was from a different project as my main hard drive to boot from. We'll screw these little screw holders in place here. Slide this up into the two holes, like so. And line it up with the other two holes. And we can go ahead and stick these screws in here. Okay, now we have that inside. Now we can begin to reassemble the Mac Mini. Start by sliding the hard drive back down in. After that, we can slide the power supply back in. Beautiful. We can then slide the little pin that holds it in place back in. Then we screw these two back into place. Perfect. Now, Ready to slide the logic board back in. Go gently in from the bottom.
not all the way because first we have to plug in these two cables. Make sure pull this cable up over the top. Fasten that back down in. Now that that's in there, we can finish sliding this all the way back in. in nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and give another spray. Now that we've slid the motherboard, the logic board back in, we can go ahead and put down the SATA connector to the logic board. After we get that on, we can then proceed with sliding in our main hard drive, which I'm going to take these screws out of in order to mount it and hold it safely. back in and now that we have the hard drive back in we just make sure we put the SATA connector back in its correct spot beautiful do a quick wipe off there then we can go ahead and put the Wi-Fi connector in its correct spot that cable underneath and off to the left. Then you slide this Wi-Fi antenna gently back into spot into its correct spot. Making sure both holes line up correctly there. Now we can replace the four screws. Now that the hard drive is secure and the Wi-Fi antenna is installed, we can go ahead and stick this plastic cover back in its correct spot. And then we will replace that screw. I also forgot to replace the screw that holds the logic board. Now that the plastic cover's on, we can reattach the fan. First, by plugging it back into the logic board. Once it's reattached to the logic board, you can line it up using the screws into its correct spot. Then we can go ahead and tighten those down. Let me give it another spray down. Oh, that fan was dirty. And then to remove all my fingerprints, I'm going to put a little denatured alcohol on a microfiber rag and do a quick wipe down. Now 
kind of put the finishing touches on. We'll install the 16 gigabytes of EDR3 RAM. And do a quick wipe down the inside of that. Now we're ready to put the back on. Line it up with the hole. Then stick your fingers in there and just adjust it clockwise and it will lock up. Now that we have our two SSDs and our 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM installed into the Mac Mini, we can go ahead and format the two hard drives and then reinstall a fresh brand new copy of Mac OS. If you need help installing Mac OS or creating a bootable install drive for Mac OS, I have a video that I'll link to above that will go through step by step on how to create a bootable external USB drive. Go ahead and get started by sticking the thumb drive inside the Mac Mini and then we want to power it on while holding down the option button. Then we will see our two SSD drives and then our install drive that we created. Go ahead and click on the install drive. Once inside the recovery menu, we want to start off by formatting the two SSD drives that we installed. In order to do that, right under Mac OS Utilities here, we just want to click Disk Utility, Continue, and what should show up on the left-hand side are the two SSD drives that we installed, which they are right there. I want to use the 240 gigabyte SSD as my boot drive that contains the operating system. So in order to format these, I just want to right click on the hard drive, click erase, give it a name, and then click erase. It's going to format into the Apple Partition file system, which is the file system for all Mac OS from High Sierra moving forward. Once that's done, I can go over to my one terabyte SSD and I just want that available for extra storage. So I'm going to format it. And I'm just going to call it one TB for one terabyte. And that's how you erase and format the hard drives so that you can install a new copy of the operating system. Now, to reinstall the operating system, we'll just click Install Mac OS. The newest supported version for the 2012 Mac Mini that I'm using here is Catalina. We'll just ask a couple of questions. You click Continue, gives you your terms and license agreement. Agree, agree again, and then I am putting the 240 gigabyte drive. Select that drive and then just click install. It's real simple. Now it'll go through the process of installing it. It'll turn off a couple of times and once it boots back on, it'll be ready for you to set up. This is where we're going to wrap up part one of the video. On the next video, I'm going to install my eGPU and run some benchmarks to see how usable this 2012 Mac Mini with all these upgrades actually is a ton for watching it really means a lot to me to see more of my videos make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications I'm going to be posting new videos every Monday so if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover make sure that you leave it in the comments below that's it for now appreciate it look forward to seeing you next video